Good morning and welcome back to another quant interview question. Today's question is greedy pirates. A treasure of 100 gold coins must be divided among five pirates, ranking from seniority from 1 to 5. They follow these rules to split the coins. Number 1. The most senior pirate proposes how many coins to distribute to each pirate. Number 2. All pirates will then vote on this proposal, including the pirate that made the proposal. If 50% or more of the pirates accept the proposal, the coins are distributed as proposed. Number 3. Otherwise, if more than 50% of the pirates reject the proposal, that most senior pirate is tossed overboard and the process restarts with the next most senior pirate making a proposal and the remaining casting votes. Number 4. This process will repeat until a proposal is accepted or one pirate remains, in which case the last pirate will get all 100 gold coins. Now remember, pirates prioritize survival over wealth. The pirates will act rationally to maximize their gains while ensuring they survive. How many coins did the most senior pirate, pirate number 5, get if he makes an optimal proposal? If the senior pirate is always thrown overboard, answer 0. I'm going to give you guys around 3-5 to five minutes to think of a solution to this problem. Remember, it's a medium problem on brain teasers, so make sure to take your time. As an added hint, remember, all pirates are rational and maximally greedy. All right, jumping into the solution. So to solve this problem, we're gonna work backwards and analyze the scenarios from one pirate remaining all the way to five, which is our current case. This will help us understand the thought process and the rational choices for each pirate. If there's one pirate, that pirate gets all 100 coins and he wins the game. But if there's two pirates, now the pirate with the higher seniority, pirate number two, can vote for himself, get 50% of the votes and take all the coins and leave none for pirate number one. Now, if there's three pirates left, Pirate 3 can't just vote for himself and win. He needs another vote. Now, as we understand the previous case, he understands that Pirate 1 will get nothing if Pirate 3 is thrown overboard. In this case, Pirate 3 will offer one coin to Pirate 1 and keep 99. This way, Pirate 1 will realize this is better than the alternative, which is there are two pirates left and he gets nothing. Following this process, we get if there's four pirates left, you can do a similar case and realize in the case of three pirates left, pirate number two got nothing. But this case, if you give him one coin, then he will vote for you and you will get 50% of the vote as pirate number four. Lastly, just like before, you can look at the previous cases of who didn't get coins so you can decide who to give coins to so that you can get the votes you require. So pirate number five needs two votes in addition to his own. By offering one coin to pirate one and three, who get nothing if pirate five is ousted, which is the four pirates case, he is able to ensure that he will win because pirates two and four realize getting one coin is better than nothing. In this case, pirate number five, which is the highest seniority, will get 98 coins for himself. As you can see, this is the final answer. So Pirate number 5 should keep 98 coins and give 1 coin to Pirate 1 and 1 coin to Pirate 3. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.